Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Brood Center. Today we're talking about an increasingly popular style of feeding, and those are the window feeders. Why window feeders? Well, you know, the main reason I think for most people is because you're bringing in birds really close to the window, so, and you can see them. So for young people especially, getting to see birds up close is very re rewarding because they have a harder time finding birds in binoculars, and really when they're more distant, then it, it, it just separates them a bit. And also, of course, we have a, an aging population that their eyesight's not as good as it once was, and having those birds up close to the window. Uh, we have a lot of people who uh, use a window feeder for their parents who are in assisted living or in places where you know they can't have bird feeder poles out in their yard and things like that. So that closeness, getting those birds up close to the window is a very good thing. Um, another reason is they get a, bit, a, a degree of wind, uh, weather protection from the eave. And I'm also including uh, hanging feeders from under your eave in this, in this kind of scenario. But bird feeders that are attached to your window do get some a degree of weather protection, which is a really good thing. And of course, squirrels and raccoons cannot climb glass. And that is a really good thing. So you, you tend to eliminate those pests from harassing your bird feeders. Now, and for a lot of people, these are very easy to fill. They're easy to access because some people, their windows actually open up into their house. They can reach out or pour seed in their feeder and just close it. Some people have to crank out windows where they can fill their So ease of filling can be a factor in that too. Now, I've had a lot of people say, well, I've tried suction cups before and they don't work on my windows very well. So here, before we get into the individual feeders, I want to talk about the uh, suction cups and what you can do to help yourself there. Um, suction cups, whenever you attach them to a window, it's very important that you clean the window really well first and clean the suction cups very well. And it also is important that you put them on dry. The enemy of suction cups are is dirt that might be inside there or air bubbles because when uh, air pressure changes outside, the air pressure changes inside those suction cups and if there's bubbles of air in there, then they can pop those suction cups off. So cleaning the surfaces is really, really important before you put them on and whenever you press them to attach them to a window, you want to get a good firm push. You want to push all that air out of those suction cups and they will stay on your window for a very long time. Now. Put, if you put them on when it's really, really cold, you may have a problem whenever the, the window heats up. But if these are on your house, usually the, the, the air temperature in your house warms up, up a gla enough the glass that that's actually okay. But this morning, that really cold temperatures when you suction cup, they, that might cause you a little bit of problem. But if you, you know, a normal weather day, get, the, get them clean, get the dirt off of there, get air bubbles out of there, and a suction cup should hold very well. So most of these feeders that I'm talking about are suction cup related. The first one I want to talk about is this, uh, this arm, the suction cup arm. And I'm going to push that on there because it came loose. I didn't suction it up, and it's a very cold day today. So this is an arm that allows you to hang whatever feeder you want to. That has a rating of about two pounds. So a finch feeder or a hummingbird feeder, a small feeder on this arm works really well. And you can also hang it the other direction if you want to. If you don't want this in your way, this can hang this way with the hook at the bottom and hang it that way. And that is one way to attach to your window that's very, very popular. And the other feeders are tend to be more of the traditional open trays that you, uh, the birds can get into. A bigger one like this will be great for cardinals and small, big larger birds to get in. The smaller uh, openings for them to be able to get into may, may restrict it to the chickadees and the tent mice. This one is a hopper that you can actually lift the lid and pour your bird seed in. You don't have to take it down all the time. And then open trays. I love the open trays. This one has a, a tray that you can uh, take out and clean and put back in. Uh, and they work very well on windows. Again, because of your eave, hopefully you're getting some weather protection from this. So this, this one will get some degree of that. And there's hummingbird feeders and there's oriole feeders. All kind of feeders can be attached to your window. Now, when I do these programs, I always like to point out Mark's favorite. And, the, and of mine, I like this aspect feeder. And there's a couple of reasons I really like this feeder. One, it has a hopper. 
So it holds seed so you don't have to fill it all the time. And if you saw what I did there, the, the roof stays on the window with the suction cups. And you can take this in, clean it out, give it a good rut wash, bring it out, refill it. And then once you refill your seat in it, it just slides back in. Really, really good idea for uh, the, uh, a window feeder because, you know, let's face it, we want our feeders to be easy uh, and, and, and easy to clean because clean feeders are health, means healthier birds. We want our birds to be healthy, so you want to be able to clean it. So sometimes one of the negatives of a feeder like this is if you have to take the suction cup off every time, you're going to not want to do that. So you want to you want the, the feeder to be as practical as possible, and Aspect's really good at that. Even their hummingbird feeder, you can take it off and the suction cup stays on the window. So you can take this in, clean it out like you should, give it a good, a, a good cleaning, clean the ports out, refill it, and put it back on. Now, I remember I said raccoons and squirrels can't climb windows. Ants can. <laughs> so when you're using a, a, a sugar-based diet like your jelly and your uh, sugar water for hummingbird feeders, then you got to remember that you can ha still have problems with ants. And we have uh, the nectar protectors, of course, which are ant moats, and that's when this is really handy to, to put on uh, with the, the, ant, the nectar protector hanging from here on your hook will give you water so the ants can't get over it and you can hang your hummingbird feeder from under here. So uh, this is a great style for this. And Aspect has a, uh, a, a little bit larger hummingbird feeder that has a built-in ant mode around it that you can fill with water so the ants can't get to that. So there are ways to battle ants even on the window feeders. Um, it, it, I know there are a challenge and that season's coming up and I've got a whole video on ant wars and I'll put a link to that up so you can see that so you know how to battle your ants and keep the ants out of your hummingbird feeder because they're a, they're a real pain to deal with. Um, they, it's coming up so we know what April 15th is about the time we start really looking for the hummingbirds and, and, the, or, and the orioles so get those feeders ready get them attached to your windows that way you can keep them up there and you can see them up close um, give them a like I said get everything good and clean for the upcoming season if you like the videos give us a like give us a share send in ideas for future programs until then come by let's talk birds hi everybody I'm uh, sorry I meant to talk about uh, window feeders that fit inside your home that was a question that was asked along with window feeders that I forgot to address. So I'm just adding this on to the end of the video. They do make, or they did make years ago, bird feeders that literally fit inside your house. In other words, you raise your window up, place this feeder that went inside your house, and then you close your window down on it. I never liked those feeders because one, they're very, very hard to insulate on the sides. You know, they, you'd always get cold air in your house. It was, it was hard to keep them the draft, uh, not being drafty. And the other is, of course, they were made it, your house more vulnerable to a thief breaking in, be able to push that feeder in and get inside your house. So I never thought they were safe. I thought attaching to the window or having your feeders on your windowsill was just a better idea. So that's why I, I don't recommend it. I forgot to, and I apologize. And so enjoy the video, and thanks for tuning in.